We're in New Brunswick. We are in New Brunswick. We are in the capital city of New Brunswick, Fredericton. Let us know in the comments if you have been here before, some of your favorite things about this city. We're here for two days. We're gonna be checking out a bunch of the incredible things about this city and let you know why you should also come visit too. We have been here for like a few minutes and already in love. It's so vibrant and there's so many bikes and people running and everybody going by. The St. John River actually winds right through Fredericton on either side. There's things to do, places to explore, places to eat. We are staying right in downtown Fredericton. It's actually right on the waterfront as well. And we checked into a historic property in the city. It is the Crown Plaza Lord Beaverbrook uh, Hotel and it's beautiful. We are in the King Junior Suite. Let's do a quick little room door. Big comfy king bed. <laughs> Look at an amazing view. There's a desk, an entertainment unit fridge and safe in there. A tub that fits me. Do you know how hard it is to find a tub that fits me? I mean, I'm five <laughs> foot. This tub fits me perfectly. Normally when you go to a place and it has a big luxurious tub, it's amazing, but you end up sinking down and drowning. They even thought of handles. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. And it has a big mirror too. It's the bathroom. So I'm very amazed. I love it. I'm so happy. They also have bathrobes for us. And there's so much room for activities. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> Time for beer. Fredericton has the most tap rooms per capita in all of Canada, and here in Atlanta, Canada, they're actually the craft brewing capital. So if you like beer, you have to come here. The first one that we're checking out is Greystone Brewery. We grabbed a flight. They have created the tap room trail here in Fredericton. 11 different participating breweries. You visit the brewery, grab a flight, grab a pint, get a stamp, got ours get entered in to win some prizes. This is my favorite. It's the uh, Patagonia IPA. And next up, more beer. Our next stop on the taproom trail is a place called Rusticaro. And they also have a food menu, so we're gonna get dinner there. I just said Rusticaro, but this the brewery's name is King West. For dinner tonight, we are sharing. Got a chicken and prosciutto pizza. They are known for their pizzas here. You should definitely come here and grab a flight and a pizza. David really wanted to get this. It's a salmon burger. I'm very excited to share it and split it as well. So a salmon burger and a house-made salad. Looks like there's some quinoa on there too. The beauty about Fredericton is that you can have two flights and walk to everywhere you're going or get to public transport. To axe throwing. To axe throwing. All right, next up we are axe throwing. We did this last summer. Yes. So we've had some practice. We're so gonna, hopefully we're I'm gonna good. destroy Skylar this time. Now from here, bring the axe straight back behind your head. Here we go, first throw. Sign your name. It's mostly my name, though. <laughs> Still good. Our first game, and Skylar got a bullseye. Well done. Wait, what was that? What? That's six points. It's stuck in there. Stop, don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> More delicious local beer on tap. Except this is a cider. This is a strawberry kiwi cider. No, it's not a uh, strawberry lime. That was a fun first day in Fredericton. First few hours, really. We arrived <laughs> late afternoon and already we have experienced so much. Quite a few little beer spots, too. So it's been a blast. The fun is just beginning. We are headed back now to our home for the night at the Crown Plaza and we are going to sleep because. We'll see you in the morning on the water.
amazing sunrise this morning. We just picked up our canoe. Canoeing was beautiful, second nature outdoors does canoe, paddleboard, kayak, and bike rentals, and tours too. We're gonna be headed back there to get some bikes later, but first we're gonna freshen up at our hotel room and head to breakfast. The Tipsy Muse is known for their bagels and homemade cream cheeses. David got the rosemary sea salt bagel with the salmon and dill. Stan, Stan Rogers cream cheese. And I got the all dress bagel with Richie Vallett's cream cheese. So it has onions, cilantro, jalapenos, tomatoes, garlic, and lime. Tipsy Muse Cafe, 10 out of 10 for me. So good, it was so yummy, and they make everything there. Yeah, the cream cheese, the bagels, the syrup for the coffee. The coffee syrups, they have a whole selection. Even the, like the little chocolate baked goods that we had. So if you're in town, check Delicious. them out. Definitely yeah. check them out. If we had more time here, we'd probably be spending longer there. Or if we lived here, you'd probably find us working on our laptops there. Next up, we're back at Second Nature Outdoors for bike rentals. Fredericton actually has over 120 kilometers of trails that you can hike, bike, um, we saw scooters, what else? <laughs> All of the things Run. that you would do. Walk Run. your dog. <laughs> Walk your dog. All of the things that you would do on a trail. Well, they have 120 kilometers of trails right in town. Fredericton's trails stretch all the way from one side of the city to the other side across the river. So we're gonna go check out a few of those now. How's this filming look? Really look good. good. <laughs> this is so fun. This is the Billthorpe Walking Bridge. And it's beautiful. It goes right across the river. Not like the bridge that we were on last night because that you can take your car on that bridge and you walk on the side. This one is made all for pedestrians to bike and walk and just enjoy. This is definitely a highlight of Fredericton. This is stunning. When we were picking the bikes up today, the owner showed us a photo of this spot here and we just found it. This is the only one along this walking bridge. So you should watch out for it when you're coming along this bridge next time. two scoops it's right here on the waterfront for some ice cream here you go oh wait no this one's yours what <laughs> Fredericton has a bunch of sculptures and murals scattered throughout the city just like this one here and you can do your own self-guided tour there's a, can, map, there's a map online, online. Yeah. yeah you can follow all around the city and a bunch of them are pretty neat and photogenic We just stopped into this place here called the Cultural Market and we couldn't decide so we bought one thing from every vendor. Yeah. There are, Skylar um, has memorized all of the vendors' no, names. No, I have not. <laughs> the first vendor David chose was Kanoi Point and he got the pancit chicken adobo. 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 Which looks amazing. The next one I chose was Warung Indonesia and I got the Perkadel which is fried potato cakes. From there as well I got sam Samoy. Samoy? which is chicken dumplings and peanut sauce. And another thing we got was a chicken roll from Khan's Kitchen, which is a Pakistani restaurant. And because I can't do too much spice, he gave me like a little yogurt. Um, I believe there's mint uh, in it to, to cool down the chicken roll. Last but not least, a refreshing cold iced tea, and it's from Cafe Loco. I'm used to having a cultural market experience only on the weekends, but this one is open all day, every day. It's like open 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. So you could have a late, uh, like a 
lunch or you could have an early supper here. Filled our bellies at the cultural market and now we're gonna hit up another taproom trail location. Get another stamp. Getting another stamp. Having some more brews. <laughs> Living that Fredericton lifestyle. <laughs> We just made a big mistake. The Joyce is not on the taproom trail list. However, they have the most beer on tap anywhere we have ever seen. They have 36 on tap, so we're very happy to be here. Even though they're not on the taproom trail, it still gives you a chance to try a lot of different beers. For instance, we will not be getting to the Maybe Brewery, so we decided to get to still try some. We are back crossing this bridge again because we're heading to our next destination for dinner, Pickeroons. You've probably heard of it. That's literally where everybody has told us to go. First time we came to Ferguson, we went to Pickeroons when it was on the main street. We think. We're not we're actually thinking sure. about it. It was six this years was like ago. Five so. years, six yeah. years ago before the craft brewing scene really exploded in the area. We were first. We knew about <laughs> it first. <laughs> We are at Pickeroons Brewing and they have an amazing patio area, but also the 540 kitchen too. So I believe it's called Roundhouse. Very dog friendly, there's dogs all over. So you can take the Belthorpe walking bridge and it's basically just right off the bridge. We got two flights, they brew everything here, everything from like blondes to some stouts and then their food too. We got the feel-good salad with sweet potato, cucumber, uh, maple vinaigrette, some goat cheese, and craisins, and nachos. No jalapenos though. There we go. So the next fun for tonight. <laughs> Fredericton fun. <laughs> After that cab ride. <laughs> is uh, the drone. We're going bowling. We are going bowling and the drone is actually by the trailway which is a brewery and they are part of the taproom trail in Fredericton here and so yeah Let's we're gonna grab it. maybe another beer and we're gonna go bowling. So they have informed us that the brewery is a separate building but they have the brewery's beer on tap. Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. Cheers. This is exciting. The beer that we got is Beyond Reality which is a raspberry wheat ale and <laughs> it's a fun one to say. It's a double IPA. Damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna start crying! Oh my god! I believe somebody told us that this is the oldest bowling alley in all of New Brunswick. Fact check that. Not positive, but pretty sure. It's a cool place. It's super retro. Bowling was really fun. Yes. And we don't think there's gonna be much of a sunset, so we're gonna try to hit up another trail stop. Yeah. The actual official Trailway Brewery. <laughs> so we just had some other beer at the Drome uh, because it's on tap and the trailway owns the Drome. But now we're actually gonna go to the brewery. Yeah, we gotta get our stamp. We got a flight. Another flight. Mainly consists of different IPAs that they have. We actually met somebody earlier uh, that recommended this spot for IPAs. They have quite a bit to choose from. So we got three different ones. And then I also got this raspberry orange sour. Good. Super good. Fredericton's sad that we're leaving today. It's a rainy morning here in Fredericton. We're actually leaving, so the city must be sad. <laughs> I did not know where you were going with that. Uh, we got a couple more stops before we go. We're gonna get some breakfast at a place called Claudine's. Oh my gosh, that was one of the most comfortable beds I think I've ever slept in. And that says something, I feel, because 
We've slept in quite a few beds. That sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> We just ordered a mimosa flight. We have an orange, cranberry, and pineapple. Yummy. <laughs> Claudine's was amazing. Uh, it was Very really, full. really busy in there. Yeah. It was crazy. It was bumping. Yeah. It, it, music was loud and everybody was talking, so it was kind of hard to talk to the camera and tell you what we got, but we got. Uh, Both got eggs benedict yeah. on a croissant. And I got the smoked salmon and Scully got what would you get ham and cheese or no? It avocado? was uh, back bacon with avocado, Swiss cheese, and we so both good. had them on a croissant. So they have like freshly baked croissants that you could have your eggs benedict on, and it was so yummy. And the mimosa flight was really awesome too. Uh, he did recommend that if you're coming for a more economically friendly, you get a picture. Yeah, he said, get a pitcher. We were like, no, we really don't feel like we need a pitcher. We need more coffee. Now we're gonna take our coffees to go and go somewhere else. but it's still so beautiful. This park is located right in Fredericton and it is known as one of Canada's best urban old growth forests. So you should definitely check it out. We saw a winter map over there too, so it's an all year round destination. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is where we're gonna end it, show you a bit of the park, but overall, thank you. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we have made Fredericton uh, part of your must visit list. I mean, New Brunswick in general is stunning and has so much to do and see and eat and all of the above. So Fredericton should also be on the top of New Brunswick list. Bye. Bye. You me, do you want to hold me? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can hold you, I guess. So I said Rustico, but they actually, they're now called King West. Well, no, they started I just, I said, okay, I I just explained Rust this no, no, no. to Wait, David. Let's continue. Let's do it. <laughs> so I said Rustico, but it's actually King West. But they're like one thing. Yes. And that is what you will Google when you come here. Rustico. But it's also King West Brewing. Yeah. Two. Good? Sure. Don't get lost. Don't go to PEI. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Is T shirt that? time. Batteries questionably low. Never charge his phone. Yes, I did. I just was charging it this entire time. <laughs> Don't do that. I believe. There's people around. <laughs> no problem. I actually might break it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Friday.